Okay, now once we're back in settings and Duo Call Manager Assistant, you're going to want to download the Duo Call Manager Assistant by clicking the link on that page. Click Run after this to run the installer. This will take a couple minutes to do. We'll go ahead and speed it up for you though. When it says, do you want to run this software, click Run again. And from here, on the Duo Call Manager Assistant, install, click Next to pretty much everything, complete, and install. And this again will take just a few minutes uh, to do depending on the speed of your computer. Once we're to the final stage of the install, click Finish. And since we're installed now, go to the Dual Call Manager Assistant icon, which will be the two arrows pointing up, and it'll have a little X by it. That's because we haven't configured yet. So right click and go to configure. And once we're here, go to the top opening and in the number, type in your 10 digit phone number, 270, and then the rest of it. And also be sure to type in your new password that you had changed earlier. On the com portal URL, you're going to want to type in http colon forward slash forward slash callduo.com. And under customization, type default. And under the proxy configuration, be sure to click no proxy. And from there, you are good to go, unless you want to adjust your voicemail pop-up duration, which right now is at four seconds. So we're going to click OK. And once we do that, we can open up our dashboard by either double-clicking the icon or going right-clicking and going to Open Dashboard, which I'll show you here. If we right-click, you see Open Dashboard there. We'll go ahead and do that. And the dashboard comes up, just as you saw it online, except now this is actually an application on your desktop. Now, as you see, we have a call coming in, and this is actually my a test call. And you can see how it shows up in the bottom right-hand cor corner of your desktop, which is really neat. And we'll leave a voicemail. And there's a notification for the voicemail. This is a really neat feature. You can see it, what's going on in your home phone, right on your desktop, whether you're in your house or at the office. And as you can see, it showed up under our messages and calls menu, which we covered earlier. And so what we're going to do next, as you've seen this work, is we're going to want to get that voicemail on our email. So this is a really cool thing to do. We'll go to settings, go to settings and then go to messaging. And under messaging you'll see auto forward all voicemail messages and faxes and emails too. And we covered this earlier in part one, excuse me, part two of the videos. So we will change this to the address that we're going to use for this test just to, so you can see how it's going to work. So we will click apply. And now that we've done that, we'll call again. Okay, you can see it calling in the bottom right-hand corner. We'll send it to voicemail just by clicking that icon there. Okay. And just within a few seconds, you should see new voicemail. And then a little bit after that, depending on how fast your inbox on your email syncs, you should get another email here shortly. And there we go. So that's a really neat feature. Now, if we click on that email, you'll notice a WAV file with that email, and that is the message. So you can go ahead and listen to it on 
the media player you have selected. So once again, a really cool feature. If you're serious about your home phone or serious about calls that are coming through, I really recommend Duo Call Assistant because it's a great feature. But now we want to synchronize, let's say you want to synchronize your contacts. Go to configure again as you did before and go to the contact synchronization tab. Click enable synchronization and you can notice it has several different options for this. Uh, I prefer both directions because that way if you update your contacts in Outlook it will update in Call Manager and vice versa. So we'll go ahead and click OK because we've wanted to synchronize the contacts from both. Okay, and now go right click on your call manager assistant again and open dashboard. And what we'll go ahead and do is add a contact and we'll walk you through that again. It's the same as you did before on in uh, part one of this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and click on contacts. Go to new contact. Type in what we need. And click save. And in just a second you'll see it pop up in your contacts on call manager. Just like that. And so now we want to sync it to Outlook. And you may be saying how, how do we do that? Well right click on the assistant again and synchronize Outlook now. And you'll see it right before your eyes pop up. And there we go. And that wraps up the synchronization. It's a great feature. I really enjoy it. And now if you want to dial somebody from your desktop, you have the search bar down at the bottom. You can search whoever you want and click dial out of your contacts. And again, this works just like the dial feature on the taskbar of the manager with the little uh, phone signal. So this is a really great feature, a really neat thing. Hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, look back at these videos, go to Frequently Asked Questions, or give us a call. So thank you and have a great night.